Frank, one of the important parts of pre-season is the Geelong camp. We're here starting off week one. What do you try to get out of this camp? Yeah, it is important, uh, Munners. This is our seventh camp. Um, we started here in 2016. It's a two-week camp. It's a really important part of our pre-season to set the, the tone for the season. Uh, it also put a lot, a lot of work in the two weeks. Uh, the players train extremely hard here over the next two weeks, so we actually put a lot of work into the two weeks, uh, both on the training track and, and off field with a lot of meetings and, and things we want to do for the season. Um, as I said, it, it's, been, it's been really successful after the last six seasons and you know we trust it will be uh, similar this year. What sort of planning goes into something like that? When do you start thinking about it? Oh, we started before the end of last year. Manners, every year we probably start, uh, you know, we set our pre-season dates and, and you know, various things that we do during pre-season. So, you know, we set this booking up. But, you know, we've, we've had this program now going for seven years, as I said. So our program hasn't changed too much down here. It's, uh, it's been something that we've got a lot out of and a lot of success. Uh, we tweak it every season to make it continually better. But the foundations have been quite similar for the last six seasons. Now, a few weeks ago, it looked like we might be missing a few players for this camp, but uh, there's a big roll up here today. Yeah, touch wood, we're close to 100% uh, back here at training now, which is fantastic. It's the first time we've been at 100% since the, the break. Um, you know, like all the clubs, we're no different from any of the other 15 NRL clubs. We've all gone through some tough uh, few weeks with high numbers, but uh, I must say the players have come back in exceptionally good condition uh, and the ones that have trained through the, the, the difficult part, we've had low numbers, they've been great. So, uh, you know, that... But this year probably carries even more importance down here in Geelong given it's been such a disrupted two weeks since we started. Have we seen any after effects of COVID with the players that have had it coming back to training? Yeah, look, a couple, but it's funny how it affects players differently. There's some players you wouldn't even know that they had COVID and, and they even commented during their, their seven-day isolation they weren't even sick, whereas others were quite sick and some with their breathing. Um, you know, we've had to uh, really monitor their... Their return to training. Um, our doctor, Dr. Jason Chan, has worked really uh, closely with uh, Lachlan Penfold, our head of performance, in ensuring that the players have had that uh, return to play um, mapped out, uh, depending on how well, how well or not, not so well they've recovered from COVID. So, with some of we just got to keep an eye on, but yeah, it's they're all different. Now, it's going to throw another factor into the season where. There might be some, an outbreak or there might be one or two players go down. Does that mean that a, a squad is more important, a big squad? No doubt in the world. I think uh, there's been a lot of debate in the NRL about increasing the size of the squads this year and, and we support that. And That's one of the reasons we've got a lot of our feeder boys down from both the Falcons and, and the Tigers uh, more than normal. You know, We have them down every year but we've probably increased the numbers this year and, and also increased their time in pre-season because you just never know that, that you know, there's a, there's a good chance they may be used this year so the more work we put into them now uh, you know we'll need them but you're right it's it's not going to be about the, the best team winning it this year it'll be the best squad winning it so you know we want to put ourselves in the best possible frame. Finally we went out to Hume at the start of pre-season where the fans got to have a look this week we're coming to uh, the Wyndham Sporting Complex at Werribee good chance to see uh, what the boys are up to. Yeah, I missed that one. I was on the IDQ camp with the new players, but the, the reports from everyone has been uh, so positive. And you know, just the, listening to the players, they really enjoyed the session. Um, it was just good to get back in the community again. So we're really looking forward to Friday with, uh, with our full squad and, and hopefully a big number watching.